Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. We've got lots and lots and lots and lots to do. So let's get back to it or let's jump right in. Uh, let's see, we have a few things underway. We've got copper or we have copper production that is slowly being crafted here or being constructed. We're still waiting on basic construction parts. We have quite a few. Unity is looking okay. It's increasing. Population looks good, 220 out of 280. So we've got a little bit of headroom there on our population. Let's see. And we have um, three more manual assemblies being constructed. And that's going to be the start of our production line to make the construction part level twos. We have maintenance issues. That's why we need to get the copper going. Or this guy, no, this guy's complaining about not being able to reach a destination. Uh, why would you want to go here? Let's turn truck import and export off on these tanks. I don't think we want that. I guess I could leave it on one, one of them that is actually accessible by truck. Uh, maybe this guy will keep open. Yeah, this guy's grabbing water for what? Where are you taking that water? Oh, to the brickworks. Oh, yeah, we need to route our water here. Let's do... Yeah, let's do that. We kind of left off. We we're in the process of scaling up our brickworks. That's needed for the construction part level ones. Uh, we were holding off until these belts were ready because we didn't want to shut down our existing brickworks. And we need to grab the water from over here somewhere. Wonder if I can just wiggle this water out and still leave these things in place. Let's try that. So yeah, we've got a few things to focus on. Construction part twos, bricks, and then our copper. We need to get all of that going. I'm going to hop up. Uh, I'll hit R to turn off the snapping. I want to go as high as I can. I just want to route these pipes pretty much straight across here. Uh, and we can hug... We can hug these water collectors. All this stuff may move down the road. So none of these are lifetime placement decisions here. We'll see how things play out. Uh, wiggle down, come across. And can you connect up? I'm happy with that. That, once it's built, will solve the water transportation issues. We've got a decent supply. Once we get caught up on construction parts, I'll probably expand this array of water tanks. And then eventually we'll supplement that with actual, um, with what do they call these things? Groundwater pumps. So we can start tapping into the groundwater reservoir we have right nearby. But again, early game, they're being generous with the uh, rain. So we're in good shape on that. Farms, we have one paused, and yet we're still short on workers. We Let's look at the map. I think we can adopt. Let's adopt some people for, um, for Unity. Pretty cheap, easy way to increase the population. We don't need to use power to uh, run the beacon. So that should put us in good shape. And while we're on the map, maybe we can pick a place to explore. A lot of nodes are blocked by pirates. Can I reach out this far? Looks like we can. And then we've got another community here. Oh, so where did we adopt population from? This one says I can't do it. Let's check this one. This one, okay. So these must be on the same timer or something. We can't just hop from village to village and adopt more and more population. All right. All right. All right. Unless one of them doesn't have that option. It does say, um, it says some settlements might not have this option. So who knows? We'll see. Ships going out and exploring, waiting for our water pipes to be constructed. Uh, I want these belts to be constructed before we do the other half or the other two. I think we're going to put two more brickworks here, but I want, I want to see these belts all get constructed. 
same kind of situation here. We just have a lot of stuff queued up. These take regular construction parts. We know we're going to have, I think, a fourth one here. We can place this guy down and just add it to the list of overburdened construction projects. Boom. I'll wait till these belts get finished. I was kind of trying to prioritize some of these. If I can reach them here. And we're waiting on construction part twos for these guys. That's why it's a little... A little more difficult to get these finished. I'm just kind of randomly click clicking, trying to prioritize some of this stuff. Okay, that's progressing pretty well. Let's head over to copper real quick. And we've got a few, looks like we've got three belts that need to be constructed. Are we getting copper? We are starting to get copper plates. This needs to be refined, right? What do they call this? Impure copper. Um, is there a way to see? It'd be nice to see where impure copper is used. Okay, we can purify it. Make copper plates. That's what we need for the maintenance, I believe. And we've just got two ways to purify it. I thought these were, in the last version I played, were able to be used for maintenance, the impure copper. Could be misremembering that, or they may have changed it. Um, let's see. Anything impure copper? No, that's all regular copper. Maintenance depot. Yeah, that's all changed from last time I played quite significantly. All right, let's see if we can put down the buildings required to purify this copper. That is copper electrolysis. This will take 24 per minute. So that's the complete output from two metal casters. We just need one of these. We need to supply water and some power. Power, we're looking pretty good. Probably because we have a bunch of machines that are, or buildings that are backed up. Electrolysis, how do we want to do this? We have a decent amount of space. Good. Go back this way. We do want to bring water in. This looks kind of reasonable for placement. What about snapping this right next to it? Uh, let me get a different camera angle so I can see the output, the input ports. That might do. Let's try it. And this is going to be a regular conveyor to get these impure plates. That not loop in. Try it. Having uh challenges with belts this season that's for sure I... boom boom i don't what what's the issue issue okay we'll do it that way if we must now we need to find a source of water. Is there, there's no water over here, I don't believe. Oh, there is. We could start pumping. Or we could do water collectors, or we could do both. Um, if this land was cleared of trees, I'd be more inclined to do water collectors. Let's see. Water collectors don't take any power. That's the appeal, but they're not uh, super reliable long term especially once we hit drought looks like we ran into pirates i hear let's do some of these where we can squeeze them in um they're not too expensive and we'll probably keep them around for a while shift one two looks like i can squeeze three in here hopefully i can run a pipe out of there it's gonna be tight but we can make it work we'll get these all built and then we'll do the um the other half. Looks like I can get six in here. And this is chewing up construction parts that we don't really have. We will make it work. Uh, let's run the pipe. Just going to run a pipe down the middle. And make that one shorter because we're probably going to hop, hop up. Okay, 
Okay, that gets the water started. We can actually run the pipe all the way over here. Do we want some water storage for this operation? Um, we're going to want to scale this up later, and I'm not giving a lot of thought to that, am I? I am not. We'll just... We'll just duplicate it or something. Uh, or we could do some kind of mirror image thing here where we did another blast furnace over this way. There's just not a, not a lot of land. Pull that off. Um, planning mode, layers, cut, copy. Something like this. <laughs> just... Uh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I want to have room for the electrolysis to be on that same side. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of room for that. We could clean up another. We'll deal with that later. We got to get basic production up. We can always rework once we've cleared off space. Uh, set up something that's a little bit larger scale. This will get us going. Water pipe and storage. We actually should be collecting some water here. I think where we want to put the storage for the water. Did put a bunch of rows of storage here. Be going down. Oops, rotate going down and then going back up or something. I'll leave room for trucks to get through. Rain is too low. Oh, I must have hit the Q or E or something. Let's do... Uh, let's see if I can run the pipe over there around this tree first, see if this is going to be viable. I can stay on the ground probably. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be good. Let's put some water storage over here. Leave a little room maybe, although I'll have to go high if we want trucks to be able to get through that little area. Guess I can come close. Let's do one, two. Four. And then when we come off of this storage array, and we may everything I'm putting down we may change, so I probably should just stop saying that. Let's come off of here. This is our output. We want to go up. We want to find our way over there. take it and then we're going to shortcut the storage array since it's not built yet we're going to go straight up into the pipe that heads over to the factory or where our copper production is so this will be a bit temporary and these have some storage themselves some storage tanks let's uh, add more Try and take advantage of the rain. Early game here. Uh, that will actually snap on directly. Interesting. We'll take it. It's not going to be symmetric. Um, how many constructed part ones? We have 34. I think just for looks, I'm going to keep these separated by one, just so it's consistent. Um, are you 
again. I'm a little red green color blind, so I can't tell if this is giving me problems. It looks like the trees, right? The trees are the culprits here, perhaps. Yeah. You can mark these trees. It'll be a while before they are removed. That'll do. And then we'll just uh, quick build these pipes. I'm not sure if trucks can get in there or not. Just have to. We'll set the third one up once we clear some trees. Like I said, I'm going to quick deliver these parts. Just one construction part. Doesn't cost much unity. 0.1 unity to build this. Do it. Are these guys collecting any water? Tiny bit. And then we can um, shore that up soon with actual groundwater pump. Look at all this stuff left. Okay, we're doing all this. Oh, cement must have got researched. We're going to pick new ones. All right. That's all in construction. Let's see how things are going over here. Looks good. We're short on people. These all have recipes. This one does not. Production parts. Not enough workers. Let's look at the map. Ship was defeated. He came back home. Let's pick another node. How about you? And the ship out. We need to... We have... Um, Concrete production unlocked. We need to mine limestone in order to make these look cement blocks or cinder blocks. We'll get to that, but it's going to take a little while. Let's queue up at least a couple more research. Settlement water. I think that will increase our unity. Vehicles. We've got room for 11 more. Let's do... Let's do the vehicles. And then the transport balancing. That may come in handy with our factory design and settlement water third. And what else? Um, housing two edicts. Let's just uh, continue down this path. Captain's office and vegetable farming. How's that? We have a bunch of research queued up. Ooh. Hey, our fuel station's up and running. We need to assign trucks to that. We'll put two on there. That should stop our excavators from driving the length of the island to get refueled. Our dirt mine looks like it's going well. We have plenty of dirt. We took back the excavators and trucks on this. How's our little dirt supply? Um, Not filling with dirt. Looks like we may need to add those back. Was this our dirt? Yeah, it was. We're short, <laughs> we're short on dirt again. Before, we were totally full. Um, Not going to help too much over here until these belts get constructed. How are we doing on maintenance? Or on uh, parts two, construction part twos. We just have a lot of stuff down for this. I think I only have, I think I only have one guy making these. I'm going to boost this one. Unity is still in the positive. This guy is doing our maintenance stuff, or vehicle parts. More construction parts and maintenance, it looks like. This guy's doing our electronics. How are we doing on copper? We still have a lot from our little excursions and bringing in the refugees. They brought some copper with them. We're just about ready to have our own copper processing up and running. That is getting super close. Oh, mechanical parts storage. Yeah, electronics. Let's see. A few things we could do. We need more people. Let's see if the map is going to allow us to recruit or adopt. We can get four. The same? Okay, no, this one must not ever have the option. To adopt people, it's off. Um, we have nowhere near the number of construction part twos to do any donating of any kind. I'm five workers short, and I can almost adopt five. We could turn, <laughs> we could turn the, turn the beacon back on. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm laughing because it's just kind of like a short blanket here. Especially early game, it seems like. 
Okay, it's going to take less than eight months, but we'll get 14 refugees. We'll leave that on. It takes 20 kilowatts. Our power is super duper low. Our, our usage right now is super low. We need six workers. We'll probably do the adopting too. Um, I was going to wait till it gets to 10. Let's do the five. That's fine. Now we're only short one worker. Food is going down. So some of those workers are going to get put on the farm. That farm is still loaded. Um, in fact, let's see, we have three food storages loaded, empty, loaded, but we're getting more and more people. So all of that food is still only 61 months worth of supply. We're going to ramp that up in a bit. As soon as we get more people in here, I could run all these belts. But I'd like to see this stuff completed before we do. I want to get this brickworks fully automated. We know we're going to need to add an excavator, and more trucks to our dirt mound, especially once we have five brickworks running. These two will leave, actually. We're going to delete these out, most likely. Um, let's see. What was I going to do? Uh, make sure we have an excavator queued up. Boom. And at least two more trucks. About four trucks. Get that working. We're short one worker. I'm sure there's something I could shut down. But we'll let it run. How's rubber doing? We've been building things. Still have a lot of rubber supply, so we don't need to turn that on. That'll save us a few workers, right? Six workers. Diesel. We're storing up some diesel. I like it. Where are we at? 784. I'm tempted to put three more tanks down. Once we're really in the green with the construction parts, I'll probably do that. and We'll build out an array of diesel. Um, this isn't the most efficient way to produce diesel. Um, we're going to get to more efficient ways. We're still doing pretty good. We've only tapped about 10%. Uh, maybe a little more. Yeah, 11% of our reserves here on the crude oil. And I believe we did find an oil rig. Oops, there's our ship getting defeated. He's on his way back. We found an oil rig, right? This guy? 120 construction part twos. Soon, hopefully soon, we'll be able to import. Uh, let's see what this guy's complaining about. Okay, we need to fix the mining designation over here. I think we just need to open up the area. Boom. To incorporate these other places. That should get coal back online. What are we doing? Yeah, these guys are starved out on coal. Flag looks like it's getting emptied pretty well. There's our wood. Surprise, that's not doing better. Charcoal makers or our coal makers are turned off. We are creating a lot of maintenance parts. Let's um let's add another truck to our oops, ship and battle. Let's, we dismissed that already. Um yeah, let's find our tree harvester. Where are you, tree harvester? Is that you? Yeah, you're making a move here. So he's going to clear out these trees we marked while you're over here. Why don't you do a bunch of this stuff? And we can possibly open up this array even more since we're not using this land just yet. Collect some water. Maybe put some more tanks. Full excavators look like they could use another truck. There's one excavator sitting waiting. Let's add another, at least. Maybe our trucking doing. We just ordered up three more. These guys do have a ways to drive, and they actually have to bring that coal all the way over here, unfortunately. So that's going to keep the trucks a little more busy than they were before. Do a little more recruiting from this island. Adopt one more. Boom. And then as soon as the refugees come in, we'll probably open up this farm again. 
and maybe add some food storage somewhere. It doesn't actually even have to be attached to the, uh, attached to our colony. We could just put some, uh, warehouses somewhere. I think we're going to need that. What are you guys doing? You're going to need two more trucks as well. The dirt. All right. This is starting to look good. Starting to look real good. We need to run a big old belt with the finished product, right? The bricks. It's going to take a lot of construction part twos. What do we want to do first? I say before we do that big long belt, let's see if we can belt this stuff up and speed up our construction of, um, Construction part two. So we only got one, one little guy here doing it. Eventually, these will be inputs for another array of assemblers that can do the construction part twos. Let's see. Now we're gonna do some belt work here. I may fast forward. We'll see how painful this is. Um, it's been a bear for me getting back up to speed. I think things may have changed a little bit. Man, was I struggling getting these set up. It was painful. Knock on wood. Looks like we're going to be in good shape here now. This is a lot of construction part twos. Get this all built. That's going to save us a ton of trucking time. These ones, the construction parts coming out of here. I want to belt those into a storage too. But again, I'm going to prioritize and try and get these belts built before we do that. Hopefully the trucks can reach these. If not, we'll have to, uh, Use some unity. Looks like we've got 10 construction part twos. Q. Right now they are hand delivering the bricks, which isn't great. But again, if we can get these constructed, maybe that's the next, maybe that is the next belt we run. It's a long one. And then we need to think about, are we going to combine it with this stuff? Rip these out over here. I think I want to do that. I think that's going to look better long term. Maybe we put them down at the bottom. Talking about brickworks. Let's get two more down. Trying to get a little more organized. Uh, we need to be back. Looks like four spaces. Water is going to be an issue. Maybe we can flip these. Um, let's see, I think I have to do this, like a rotate and a flip so that the water, so we're truly mirror image to the ones off the left. And we just need two of these. I think that's the most the belt will actually handle at this point. One. They're a couple spaces apart. Boom. Got maintenance issues. We'll get to it. We'll use Unity for now. We've got a decent amount. Our trucking fleet's busy. Oh, man. We have one more pickup. I'm going to have to queue up a couple more. Vehicles management is being researched right now, so that's going to give us a little more headroom on our trucking. But we're still okay, even as it is. Uh, do these need to pick a recipe? Nope. They'll do it by default. Let's run these U-shaped conveyors while we're here. Uh, this is the coal, I believe. This is the dirt. We'll do the water here in a second. Coal. Not quite, not even close. Okay, there's our dirt. Water pipe. Look at that. 
Beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. I like it. Okay, let's uh, repair that. We are working on it. Everything. <laughs> We're working on everything. Pool, I can see, is going to be an issue. Dirt should be picking up. I might need another truck. Hopefully we don't need yet another excavator. These guys are both loading. I just want to see if the shortage is on trucks. Yeah, we've got an excavator here sitting, waiting on our truck. Let's get another one assigned. I know our trucking's already kind of pushing the busy level. Hey, we got new refugees. We'll say hooray, and we will turn on this farm. I'm paranoid about food. Not want to run out of food. We'll leave the beacon on, and we're going to have to put down more housing. We might as well just get that place so we don't come up short. It's going to be a while before that's constructed. Okay, all that's going. Once that's done, we can rip up this brick production over here. In fact, we could probably do it now. I guess it doesn't hurt to leave it. That guy's on a boost. Oh, smokestacks. That's the thing I forgot. For these guys, let's do it. They'll each get their own. For you, they all learn how to hold the shift key down. But probably not with this playthrough. Apparently, that's nice. That's nice and done. Brick belt, brick belt, brick belt, brick belt. That's going to feed all eight of these. I have my ratios off. How many bricks do you need? Um, eight times six is what? 48? Uh, the belt will take it, right? The belt will take 60. We want to hook up bricks to this belt right there. Um, it's a long run. It's a long, long run. Of construction part two requir required belts. Oh man, how are we going to do? How are we going to do that? Guess. Hmm. I guess we could run it along the ground, just keep it on the ground. If we ever want to scale up and push more factories down, we could just rip that belt out and extend it. Do I have a maintenance issue here? Boom. So yeah, down, around, keep it on the ground, connect all these five up, and then somehow come up. Oh man, that's a long run. But it's going to save us a lot of time trucking. We could also come down... And then just over, and then have these outputs come down, over and wiggle along the coast. Mm, decisions, not my strong point. I'm thinking maybe coming across here. Let's get on it. Let's just get on it. Uh, this is going to be bricks. I think I'll take a flat conveyor for these, right? Boom. You... Now we want to start getting going up. Maybe here. We can always, man, boy, this is a hard belt to move because it's so much expense. Move it later. But it'll last us a good long time. I think before long we're going to be in good shape. We'll be swimming in construction part twos. Right now we're swimming in maintenance problems. I can see here from my bird's eye view of all these alerts. You can come in maybe right above this line. Take a while to get this constructed. But once it's done, all the inputs for at least construction part ones will be fully automated. That's got to count for something, right? 
Uh, this could be made to look a little more pretty. Do I care? Let's see. Yeah, let's try to make it look a little better. I didn't realize this was a little lower. Okay. Not on it. close right we're just going down one now oh, snap I just can't tell if it's doing it yeah that's us that looks good that it's gonna be a while but we'll be happy once it's done not uh, u-shaped guys are just regulars you connect up you connect up how's our dirt are we filling up these dirt bins not at all what's the hold up there is dirt going there right you can see it's starting to fill up but not enough nowhere near enough do i need to put more trucks on this let's take a look and see if the excavators sit idle with full buckets Could be two is not enough even to... Yeah, this guy's waiting. Let's add a truck. At least one. No, our coal mine probably needs more too. Okay, we've completed a couple tutorial objectives or starter objectives. Let's uh, claim our bonus. Copper production. We produced the copper they wanted us to. Collect that. And then research construction two and build an assembly manual and produce construction part two. But we did that a long time ago. Okay, collect that. New refugees, we'll take it. Gray. Um, do we have room for the next batch? We have what? 18 coming, and we've got room for 13. I think we should oh man, our food supply is getting lower. Eating lower. Fertility is low. Um, we're not doing our little green manure stuff yet. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. We got to get to that. What do we want to do? I want to prioritize the housing unit. Let's do that. Just make it a priority. We're not going to quick deliver. Um, all kinds of maintenance issues. We need to produce electronics, I think. This guy has tons of mechanical parts, has no electronics. We have the copper. Who's doing electronics? We have one, one little stinky factory doing electronics. Um, now there's a question. Where do we want to do electronics production? Um, it's interesting that this requires rubber. Right, rubber is all about oil. Where's our rubber? Coal and diesel. We have way out here by our copper mine. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's behind a huge mountain. And the it I'm referring to is there is an oil deposit where we could be producing the diesel for rubber production and have it near where we're doing the um, copper plates, which are needed for the electronics. But that's going to come later. I guess we're going to have to... Hmm, thinking about maintenance inputs and where to place those factories. Electronics. Like rubber. One rubber to four copper, right? So that would say you want to ship the rubber where the copper is being made. It's less truckloads full of stuff to get your electronics. But... Those electronics would then need to be shipped all the way back here. What about mechanical parts? What do those take again? Mechanical parts is just straight iron. Of course, our iron mine is over here. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we're going to be stuck with some long routes. 
We're going to ship rubber over to the copper area, make electronics, and then ship the electronics back to some kind of array of maintenance buildings. Man, that's not, I'm not enthusiastic about that. I'm going to use some unity here to repair things as I see them. <laughs> we have problems. We have maintenance problems. This is kind of just part of the game. I'm going to turn off the alerts so I can pretend they don't exist. I'm going to use up some unity. I'm going to have to turn off a boost because we're going to need unity for repairs, not boost. So off goes this brick works. No more boost for you. Once these come online, we are going to tear this down. Dirt and coal, insufficient, super insufficient. I think we'll need more trucking for that. And then we've got this monster belt, which is going to take a good long time to complete. It's getting there, but it's going to take a long time. We need to finish construction part two, expand this factory. So we get construction part twos made, but I think maintenance is even the bigger thing. We need to make electronics and we said, we're going to send rubber out this way to do it. Um, And I don't even know if this is going to give us enough copper production to make it worth our while. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. To do, I tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. In the next episode, we will set up some, probably we'll stick with the manual assemblies just to conserve electricity and thus diesel until we get that offshore oil rig going. We can always upgrade them later. But maybe we'll set up maintenance production or at least the electronics production over here. We're going to have to truck the rubber from way over here. Kind of stinks. We'll probably have to turn on the rubber plant. Look at all this maintenance problems. <laughs> it's not good. Um, I think things still do run, even though they're broken down. It'll stop and then it'll kick back on, I believe. So we should be okay. We've got full tanks of diesel. We can just let these things stay unrepaired a bit. Oh, now we're running into power issues because our generators all need maintenance. <laughs> it's not so good. We will spend unity for that. But yeah, next episode, we will work on electronics. And yeah, thanks to everybody who's been watching this series and giving the videos a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Special thanks also to GliderCat patrons and channel members. We just had a new, pay, uh, new patron sign up. Really appreciate that. Helps me keep the channel alive. Um, if you'd like to help contribute to the channel and help keep it alive, there's links to do so in the description. I'd be grateful for the support. And I will see you all in the next episode.